Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Recently, I saw this video from a social media group. It is a 3D printer extruder fail sounded like a monk practicing the prayer. We'll be here but I know no other place. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will. Most of the times, if you ever observe this weird behavior on your 3D printer, you will most likely get an under extruded printing or even unfinished printing. This is because the weird clicking sound indicates stepper motor in the extruder skip. Thus, your filament is not being pushed or fit properly to the hot end along the printing. Targeting this problem, today we are going to investigate several root causes that will lead you to this scenario and give you some suggestions on how to solve them. Before we start, let us quickly reproduce the problem using these simple experiments. Please do not simply try it as it has the tendency to break your 3D printer. The first experiment is to pull the filament at the entering of the extruder while the extruder is extruding. You will notice that with enough forces, the extruder will start to produce click sound. The next experiment is to push the filament back at the exit of the extruder. Similarly, with enough forces, the extruder will start to produce click sound. Lastly, let us push the filament feeder gripper and try our best to add the burden to the stepper motor while it is extruding. Theoretically, we should be able to get the clicking sound too, but it seems like the force is still lack to stall the stepper motor. But we guess our brilliant audience will get what we are trying to show here, right? Thus, to solve the problem, we need to first identify the type of the problem happening in the printer. Type 1, upon entering extruder, type 2, within extruder, and type 3, upon exiting extruder. For type 1 problem, one of the root causes will be the improper placing of your filament roll. If your filament roll is not able to freely rotate during the feeding of filament, this can generate a pull force to oppose the extruder. If the force is great enough, it can cause the extruder fail to feed the filament. The solution for this problem is easy as you can reposition your filaments or even make a special holder for your filaments so that it is able to rotate freely during the feeding of the filaments. You can also design some guides to, to make sure that the feeding of the filament is smooth. Another reason to encounter this kind of problem will be the tangled filament roll. If your filament is tangled, it will not be able to pull easily out of the spool. The solution will be untangling the filaments manually before using the filament. The process can be troublesome, thus it is always advisable to keep your end of the filament properly clipped to the spool before keeping them back to a seal bag to prevent tangling. If the filament is already tangled fresh out of box, we will suggest you request a change from the vendor or just change the supply vendor in the future. For type 2 problem, one of the root causes will be the dust or debris trapped in the extruder gears causing the rotation of the gears to be stalled. The solution for this problem will be simple dismantle and cleaning up those parts with brush or wet wipes. Remember to power off your 3D printer before dismantling any part related to electronics. The next root cause could be the bad extruder spring tension. The spring is adjustable so that suitable gripping force can apply on the filament while feeding. If the filament is too tight, it will cause the stepper motor skipping. To solve the problem, 
try to loosen the spring and find the optimum spring tension for your extruder through repeating experiments. The next possible root cause could be the varying gear of the extruder. If the gear is worn out, it might not be able to grip the filament and feed it properly. To solve this problem, you can try to reposition the contacting point between filament and gear or simply replace the gear with a brand new one. If the gear is not tightly attached to the shaft or the motor, it will cause the slipping of the gear too. In this case, all you need to do is just retightening the gear and make sure that the tightening screw is locked at the flat surface of the shaft. The next root cause can be the extruder not able to catch up with the printing speed. If the limit of the extruder is over, it will face skipping problem too. To solve this problem, you will just need to tune down the printing speed using the slicer setting. The next possible root cause could be the improper tuning of the stepper motor voltage. The stepper motor voltage can be tuned at the stepper motor drivers. If the setting is not set to optimum, the stepper motor will gain less energy to power the extruder. The solution will be to fine-tune the stepper driver potentiometer. However, if you are having a standard commercial printer, we are sure that the manufacturer had already properly tuned this for you. If you still think that this being the main reason for your printer's failure, we highly suggest you to send it to the vendor or any electronic experts for the fix as you can easily fry the board and kill your printer if you have lack experiences in doing it. For type 3 problem, one of the root causes could be improper bed leveling. If the nozzle gets too close to the heat bed, the end of the nozzle will be blocked by the heat bed. This stops the melted filaments to be pushed out. The accumulated filaments in the nozzle will build up pressure and cause the extruder to fail feeding in filaments. The solution is to relevel your bed properly before starting the print. Another root cause could be too low printing temperature of the nozzle. If the nozzle temperature is not properly set, the filament will be harder to melt properly. Little by little, the unmelt filament will block the nozzle causing the extruder to fail feeding in filaments. The solution to this problem will be increasing the printing temperature to the optimum. Lastly, if your nozzle or your PTFE tube are being blocked, it will also cause the extruder to fail feeding in filaments. The solution is to unblock the nozzles or the PTFE tubes, or simply replace them with a newer one. So, this is the end of the video. We hope that you can learn something or even better, unblock yourself from this kind of problem through the content of this video. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You can be a big hero to unblock them from this problem too. As always, Thanks and happy printing.